Well, hey, we're traveling today. Where should we travel today to Bootsbach? Here's a little sign. About an hour from the house. So, predicted for rain today. We just have to deal with the rain because we're still gonna have a good time. So come on along and let's discover this town. So one second it can be raining and one second not. So this second it is. Uh, so I wanted to show you. What do you think about having a wall? It needs to have support. Fast as the rain started, the rain stopped, and I heard some familiar sounds. What the heck are we got? Bagpipes coming up over here. That doesn't look like a Scottish uniform, though. That's kind of weird. Well, let's see what we got. So it looks like a Saturday uh, vegetable market here on this part. So from what I got, uh, the small tent setup is a very small area just for this weekend. We'll head back there in a little bit. So what I'm doing basically is we're working our way around the market plots uh, just to get an idea of where and what is and what looks good and what's not. Uh, plus we're looking for a place that we're going to sit down and have a light lunch. And we know it's going to rain some more so... Oh, who's that? Somebody looking for me. Oh, so it looks like we've walked around pretty much most of the town. It's a small town anyway, but you know. So I'll turn you around here as soon as this group of people walk by. And then I'll let you see the buildings. So. Really like the handiwork. Say hi to the missus. Really like the handiwork that they've done in these houses, on the corners and, uh, and that. A lot of towns don't do anything. Wherever you want, it's fine with me. Is it this one or the next one you want to go to? So you can see the corner work that they do. I mean, it adds just that extra touch to make it that much nicer. All right, stop for coffee and a snack. It's called the Deutschland Plunder. This is a stronger strawberry thingy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's interesting. So the coffee shop on Saturdays was only open till one, so we kind of got booted out of there. I mean, they weren't rude or anything. They were nice about it and said, "Yeah, you got ten minutes yet." But I like the oh, <laughs> not much down this street. Oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we were gonna go down this street and see what was here, but there's. We could go down there. <laughs> well, I'll see. Well, that does, but we can go. So anyway, so they're closed on till one on Saturday, and then Sunday they're open till five, and then Monday through Friday they're open till six. Like, I would think they'd be closed just the way around. I would think that on Sunday they would close at one because that's when everything seems to close in Germany, except for restaurants and stuff like that. I don't know. That's that's just the way it is in Bootsbach. Herb. So. Oh. There's a nice, uh, interesting house. So we got two different views here. So we got the market. Well, let's walk to the market plot. They got the sun here. Perfect timing. Let me comb the cat's hair a little bit. While the sun's still out and not behind the clouds, I'm hoping this Saturday stuff here closes up pretty soon. Then we can get the market plots without the. Uh, Saturday market going on that would be much better now over this way you see how they build some of these old German houses when they built additional floors they actually built them out further than the floor before as you can see here so 
I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's easier to have the limbs uh, overlooking the overlooking the next floor, but uh, yeah, kind of interesting. This is uh, Schlossplatz. I don't know if my son's going to be around or not, so. Very fine. Bootsbach Schlossplatz. Let's go over there and uh, take a look and see what the open grassy fields are. Uh, 360. Of the Bootsbach Schlossplatz. And then we'll catch the outside grass area there in a second. All right, this is going to be a view from the front. Because of the trees, you'll notice on the left, I won't be able to view it head on. So, give you the view from here. Pretty good sized tower. And so here's the grassy ground in front of it. A little flower garden there, and we got the playground over there. So, so the Schloss is actually connected to the wall, or part of the wall. So we go from here to the Schloss, and this is actually the wall that goes around the city here. So. There's the misses, but you'll see the wall actually goes to a tower, which is all connected to the Schloss, which you just saw. Here's how you burn grass between the cracks in Germany. You use a propane blowtorch. <laughs> okay, we got a nice view here going past the front of the, I don't know, I guess what you say, the inside of the Schloss going back into the town here. Nice walkway. Okay, from the Slosh, we're going to head towards this church. What's wrong with this picture? I'm going to get in close. And then uh, zoom out and see if you can figure out what you're looking at. One way to renovate. Put it closer to the church. Wife says the people from the Saturday market may have left. Let's go to the church first. We're right here. And they haven't left yet. I can see the truck. Nice timing, huh? Looks like they've got some nice uh, stained glass windows. But it also looks like they've got something going on inside. But you can see by the on the outside that they've definitely 
are using some uh, probably some pretty nice stained glass windows if we could see on the inside oh we got some old stuff over there too A lot of churches keep a lot of the slabs and stuff that they have and they mount them outside or inside in a hallway or something. This one has them outside. Oh, that's a door. Oh, the sun! You should be able to pick up some music. One thirty. Two bells. This brings us back to where we came in. Oh, they mounted that one right in the rock. Fifteen seventy-five, fifteen eighty-seven. Fifteen eighty-seven. Oh, look at that house. All covered in vines and roses and... Alright. So you got a lot of uh, uh, handmade stuff here at these, these things like this. Or you've got uh, people bringing the things that they make by hand, and so here's some uh, soap that's made by hand. Do you mind if I video? Video, okay? So they got here the soap that looks like it's handmade. Smells wonderful. Very intricate design. Very pretty. <laughs> Would you like to say something or? Oh. Okay. Oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, where are you from? Uh, America originally. Oh, wonderful. I have a question um, to the elections there. And I want to ask you if you see any consequences for the rest of the world um, um, in cause of the elections. <sighs> Normally, I don't go into politics, so I'll keep as politically neutral as I can. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of the things that needs to be kept in mind, regardless of who becomes president, there's a balance and check system in place to limit what that president can do in power. So, just like past presidents, they want to do something, but if the Congress doesn't want them to do it or won't allow them to do it, there's ways of, of you know, blocking or stopping them. So, I don't think it's as bad as people think to put out to be. I think a lot of stuff that we see on the internet is blown out of proportion for both candidates. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I want you to meet George. That's George. Got an apple. He's hungry. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in narrow mode to better show the street. But look at look at how the houses here on this street are angled this way and that. They're still not all the way gone, but so the Saturday marketplace is 
pretty well, I don't know, maybe give them another hour, they'd be completely gone. But I think it's they're gone far enough now that I can go ahead and give you a 360 of this uh, marker plots. I think it'd be pretty good, especially if the sun will stay long enough. <laughs> Give you a 360. Before it gets too dark, we got some rain clouds coming in. Who's that? <laughs> I like this. Well, thank you for joining us at uh, Bootsbach. I hope you join us at our next uh, travel video.